Using anti-gravity, my first prompt was about setting the final goal. We are going to create a pinball machine that plays itself. I gave it additional context about exactly what was the interface we were going to use, so this web serial API. And then we started creating the building blocks together, from actuating the flippers to the computer vision algorithm, and finally assembling this solution into creating the user interface that you see today. Anti-gravity just took that initial prompt that I had, take me through the thinking process, understand where I'm going, help me get there. And it was really nice to have an agent to brainstorm, work with, and implement the solution with. I think the most exciting part about this project is that we are bridging the real world to the, to the digital world. So we have two solenoid actuators, and we have a camera here that looks at the flipper area. And all these things go into a microcontroller that is running firmware also written by anti-gravity and um, that receives commands over USB. And so this allows a program running on the laptop to uh, you know, see what's going on and control the pinball machine. My initial prompt that started it, uh, we're going to make a specialized web serial and Bluetooth controller for a virtual pinball cabinet. And anti-gravity is going to go through the planning, building tasks, asking me for implementations, uh, approval, and then do the implementation itself. All right, he created a new project called Simple Serial Sender. So I now have a task list, and it will be executing the plan that he just made up. It is currently building the code, and I'm just going to ask to run it. I should be able to send a one or a two. See so if I just go add camera and see if it worked. And now it's going to open the browser, hopefully with a new feature that we just added. It's here, nice. Fine tuning the parameters on how actually we wanted to trigger the flippers was a very interesting part. For example, during gameplay, some of the lights will pop up relatively randomly and because they are circular in nature, they tend to be seen as a ball by the algorithm. So we managed and played around the idea, effectively creating zones that wouldn't uh, trigger the flippers. It's a good showcase that you can get easily from zero to one. You know, you have an idea, you want to get it outside of the world, you want to get it outside your computer. Just being able to build something that actually works in real life, that is piloted from a laptop, was just fascinating to me.